Welcome to Satisfactory Update 4. My name is Niklaus and this is episode 7 of our Let's Play. Thank you very much for following along. I really appreciate the interest and uh, the engagement for my little series here of uh, Satisfactory on this YouTube channel. So, we are going to continue onwards today. I just uh, have some things here that I've been working on. Just uh, just getting all of the Katerim we, we picked up sort of out in the world. Get that sort of processed. Have some boxes of shame here that... We can put stuff in and yeah we do have our construction over here so we can add that but what we want to do is um, now that we have enough power we can actually we should actually start working towards let me see and uh, we're going to work towards the batteries yes so once we have the batteries then that's going to be where we where we want to go but in order for us to actually make the batteries we need to make sure that we have this, the status, because batteries need data. Um, do we, can we say battery? It's not called a battery. Stata. Stata, here. So that requires some steel pipes and some wire and gives us some status. And let me just uh, check that we have things available. Can I... Yes, the power storage. That's because it's not called a power storage, but a battery. All right, excellent. So we are going to go up here. First thing we want to do is make a little platform for us so we can kind of get a sense of where we want to build, how we want to build and why we want to build. Well, maybe not why, but it's definitely going to be over here. Like that, yep. And we're going to make the platform. This is where things now get, uh, I don't know, not weird or anything, but this is kind of the essence of uh, of my design is that I want to have multiple platform layers on top of each other and they should not be sort of exactly aligned. They should be more like bit random. So I'm going to be deliberately making it maybe here, for example. Let's see. So I'm going to connect it over here so we can run more freely back and forth. I think that's going to be a good idea. And... Let's get it here instead. Boop. Take this out. Oh no. Getting overzealous on the deconstruction. That one. And then we move this way. Yes, indeed. Alright, so they are now connected. That means I can drag a line from here into this corner which will be the corner of my build that one and then hopefully it'll just drag in and hook up to something back here yeah there we go and that should give us power it gives us some kind of power and now we can build the rest of this so i'm gonna bake it bake it make it bake it 12 by 12 i don't think i'm gonna bump into something i'm probably gonna be over on this one let's just see one two three four five six seven 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Huh. Well, I guess that's actually 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. So that's going to be the size. Looks pretty good compared to what we have downstairs. Have a lot of things coming in. And, you know... I'll just uh, build the rest of it and put some the underneath the foundation like this underneath it because then with that's done let me do that here we have the platform it is now done and ready to go but as i build it i realized one thing and that is uh, i certainly heard a really loud jet engine noise coming up above us and i got a bit uh, worried that there would be a collision so um Look at that flying moth just coming in. And this is the critical moment. Will it go through us and knock us down? Or will it go above us? Or what will it do? Uh, it's getting pretty close. Looks like it's going to go slightly above us. That is absolutely perfect. It also just, well, it does constrain us in certain degrees about what we can do further up. But I think it would be cool if we can keep building up here. And then sort of build around that one. So we, uh, we are moth safe in this location. Good, and we can now start building things on this platform. So just to recap things, and uh, we are over here. We have our rotors built, rotor build. The hub build is over there. The steel pipes and steel beams 
below us we have the reinforced iron plates and even further below us we have over here we have sort of the ordinary things in the beginning so that's just to orient ourselves about where we have what in our base so i think uh, what we want to do is now try to figure out how to do something meaningful here we need to make and uh, let me go up to this one we're going to start from one of these now we don't care about the, the positioning yet just care about what it's going to be like so this is yeah, so we have steel pipes. They're already being built. We're building them over here at 120 per no, yeah, 120 per minute. So we can leech some of those if we want to. This only takes 15. So let's say we build four of these. That means I take half of the steel pipes that I'm currently producing and allocate to stay to build. That seems good. So that means we need four of these builds. The wire thing is copper, but copper is a big issue. Uh, copper in this area is absolutely horrendous. There is one copper location, that one. It is pure, but this is just one. So with the current setup, we can get 270 out of that. And we're using 120 for the construction over here, but the rest of it is, look at that, 1,000 meters away and 1,000 meters away. And those are the closest ones. So it's pretty horrendous copper. So what we would be doing, what would be a smart move, I would say, would be to use the alternate iron wire instead because iron is something we have tons of i don't know yeah probably tons of iron that's probably a pretty accurate measure of look at that two more iron deposits down there if we could just scoot down there and grab it that should be nice and easy what i want to do though is i want to make sure that we go like out here and that should be two things uh is that sort of the edge that might be one more over the edge that i need Yeah, this looks about right. One, two, three. Looks uh, about right. So this one could be very easily or very reasonably be where I bring in materials inbound here. And then bring it in on a... I don't know. Probably conveyor to... Now I don't know why I'm starting with this, but... Uh, something like this. And then we can do a hyper tube on the other one next to it. I think that's going to be perfectly fine. Here, here here and then we'll do hyper tubes hyper tubes hyper tubes there, there we go they're gonna be right there that one is it pointing the right way i can never tell i would imagine yeah there we go that's the right way and that's actually not how we decided to build it previously we decided to build it like that one i guess here and then from this location build it into one in the middle which will then go to I don't know. I feel like this would be a good location to build it. Because then it can link back to that one. And then we have at least the power. Let's get the power to the corners as well. There. It's always nice to have the power linked up in the corners. So you know you can always grab it from there. And that one. And going all the way back. So let's have a look at this one. This one is the copper wire, but it only produces 22. So I am going to scale this down to make it only produce 20. Because then I can have to make two of these. Yeah, so I need two of these here. Copy and paste. So that will be the 40 we need inbound. And how much is this going to consume? This is going to consume 11.11 .11 ingots, I would imagine. Yeah, 11 points. So that's 22 ingots in total. That means if I set up a smelter here, then that can easily support these two. So that goes in, and then I have a line going. Okay, that's now we can now we can start designing, because that should be pretty straightforward. I am going to build this. Mm, do I need to build it all the way out here? I don't need to do anything, but I think I want to. That one is not in the middle. It's never in the middle. If you think it's in the middle, it's not in the middle. That's in the middle. But is it though? Oh, you can hear it. Uh, seven. There. All right. So this is in the middle. Okay. This one is. Is it turned the wrong way? Okay. What? Ah. We'll do that. Okay, so it is coming in. And that will be a splitter. 
splitter. Yeah. That will now go into another splitter here. So this one is producing copper ingots and it's going to produce it at, let's call it 75. That's going to be 22.5 outbound. And that will be definitely be enough for these two. Then I'm going to build this hmm, here, I guess. Off you go. That one. And we go in here, copy the pattern and paste and paste. Okay, so that will now need to be merged back in to the middle. And that will be put into this one. However, if I place one of these just as close as I can here, it's not going to end well. Uh, if I sort of place it, this is the middle of a tile. Is it though? No, it's not a middle of the tile. That's a middle of the tile. That's a middle of the tile. That one. Let's look out here if you can see that blue line. That's the middle. Middle to middle. I don't like middle to middle in this case. It should be there. All right. So if I build it here. Yes, I, I don't like that. I don't like that. What I want to do is, uh, let's see. <clears throat> so my, my concern here, let me just try to articulate my issue, is that if I build this too close, there is no room for this one. Except, you know, it's actually going to be above. So I am going to dig this is a merger, and then we're going to get a splitter. That will be probably somewhere like this, but I don't know how high it has to go. All right, I am going to figure out, this will be, that's the middle of a tile. So it's gonna be there. This one is just purely for alignment. So we're gonna get line it there. And oh, there was a blue line or, oh, this is the wrong line. Get it closer. These alignment things are always a bit difficult. Okay, so when you go about one back at one more, there. That is now completely aligned. I can go that one straight in and we can then get a, another splitter, which will be on this line, which is the middle of a tile. I like being putting things in the middle of the tile. And that one, that one, and that one. And now we realize that it doesn't work. <clears throat> forgot that I forgot that it's never like that it's got to be moved like two tiles over I think one two so I take this out and maybe stand up here instead exactly and from here that wasn't correct that was that was not correct One back. All right. This alignment is one of the... It's it's nice that you can do it in Satisfactory, but damn, it takes so long to get it right. That one. And... Yes, it has that magic sound. And I know that some people say, yeah, you can kind of make it closer if you do this and that. Yeah, but then it's, it starts clipping and gets ugly. This is a perfect fit. It even has the little clicky sound. So I want to do it this way because, well, I like making things neat there all right so this will be the iron the steel pipes coming in this will be the iron wire going in and this one will be now working as a oh, okay we're not doing rotors we're doing status there at normal speed good then i'm gonna build one more example of this because maybe you kind of like ah, i didn't quite get it can you just do that one more time so i'm gonna do that one more time just because we I know that with the 3d thing it can get really difficult to sort of cope with the whole thing going around and what is actually going so we're gonna start with this iron wire 20 iron wire plus 20 iron wire set the recipe copy paste paste so this will require mm, 
11 point something. So we are going to need to get it smelted. That comes from here. Smelting will be copy. I know it's slightly too much, but damn, it's nicer to have 75%. Much easier to deal with. So 75%, that means it takes 22.5 plus 22.5. That's 45 plus two more. That means it's all 90 in total. So we need to take this one, which is outputting 22.5. Split it into two different parts here. 22.5 goes in. Half goes in. 11 point something goes out and... That one goes in here. So we now have iron wire. Iron wire comes out on this side. It is aligned to here. It goes in. This one goes. It does not do that one yet. So we have to get this one. There, I think. Yes, indeed. You go in here. And I'm going to take... One, two, three. Huh. Oh yeah, this one I actually I did not respect the. How did I not do that? There you go. That one. Yes, and. It has that click sound, and I can match that one in here. Now it's matched, and all the way out. On this outside, we are also going to link it back in, and that will be, this is the one that isn't going to be on a strict middle of the pattern, but you know, that's, it can never be exactly like that. Here, this will just be a Mark 1 belt, because it's going to be very low quantity. There! I'm going to build two more. We're going to hook it up. We're going to build things over on the side. And what we also need to do is get some copper or some iron steel pipes from over here. Get it in. Let's uh, let's try to do those things and then be ready to hook it up. And night has fallen. And as we complete the builds, the build is now complete. We have five of these. I think I wanted to only do four, but there was room for five, so it would be a shame not to use the room that we had available, so now we have five of these. We have a little box that is supposed to store the stuff that comes in. I have taken the liberty of getting the iron, uh, steel pipes inbound, and uh, we now have removed the safe way across, and only have like hyper tube to go across here. That seems pretty good. And this is a bit of a mess, but uh, you know, I can probably, I can, I can definitely do it better. I can move it back if I want to, but I don't want to. This is fine. Going back here, also have tubes to go the other way. So now we are completely tubular. And what we need to do is we need to simply hook it up over on the side. So we have this one. I will actually, oh, turn on the flashlight. Mark two, inbound. And if you look at these belts, this is a Mark II belt because that makes sense. If I'm getting 60 in here, then it would be this one would consume 22.5, so 22.5, and then already there, the last, the third one wouldn't even be getting enough. So it has to be 120 inbound because I have five times 22. That is 110, so that is less than the Mark II belt. Good. Now we want to make this one active, and in order to do that, we are going to switch to this, and. <clears throat> All right, here you go. And I don't like default. I like the vertical one. Now, I th could argue, and I'm sure someone will argue, that, that I should have a platform to land it on. But I don't really need it. Uh, why? Invalid shape. You're an invalid shape. Now, this looks perfect. Perfect. Great. And put one of these. Get that one. Always get one next to it. And then we get another issue here. And that's the fact that I don't have anywhere to build. Oh, that's horrible. This one really needs to be updated Boop. to a bigger power pole. So we can get it from here into... Oh, yeah, I can't get it into the corner, though. Okay, this is not great. If 
from here into that one. Now we can go up and down more easily. Oh, we do not have that. Uh, let's see, can I do that? Let me just try building it here. Looking good. Don't know if that actually needs to be out here or not, but it is. All right, so now the next part is going to be getting some, come on, belts, there. And that has to be a Mark II. We don't need to need use Mark III, so if we don't have to, that'll go inbound. And this one will go inbound to, I think it'll be here. And we need to go to this location. I don't want to have this. And do some rock you. We will rock you. Excellent. And for anyone who believes that they they did not do that on purpose, I, I just... You are so naive. <laughs> yeah, but I know they said that. Yeah, I know they said that. But there's no way. There is no way. They probably said it so they wouldn't get copyright claimed for stealing that rhythm. <laughs> that would actually be very likely. No, you have to say that it's a coincidence. You can't say that, yes, we stole some beat that we don't have the license to. All right, well, that's a bit of a ramble I went on there. There, that is gonna be way too fast. So we just scale this down to 50%. So you can say, why am I do using this as a Mark II? Why am I using a Mark II minor here if I'm only Okay, it's not clipping. Because a Mark, a Mark II minor operating at half capacity is using less power than a Mark I minor operating at 100%. This one is by default using, well, it's using now 4 megawatts, which is nothing. It's not nothing, but it's pretty close to nothing. It's rounded down to the closest nothing. All right, we got it, and I am going to use my new hypertube. Even the boots have... I think the boots are too clean. Too clean. That's a total, literally unplayable. Is that how you're supposed to be responding to something like that? And I have that one. That's going to be Mark II coming in here. All right. And now we are just... Uh, even though it's nighttime, it's a bit of a shame though. Oh, 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 oh. There. So let's uh, see this whole thing coming into action. We have the steel pipes coming in, getting fed into this. And on the other side, do we have any iron inbound? Doesn't appear so, not yet at least. Oh, there it is, it's starting. Are you starting to, yeah, it's huffing and puffing. It's turning green, this is turning green. Do we see stuff coming out? Anytime now. Yep, we got some ingots over there. We got ingots over here. We got ingots everywhere. And that will be now going in here to make some iron wire. There. We got one out of five. I had these to stack up quite a bit before it even gets in there. As you can see, the steel pipes are only sort of sporadically getting all the way down here. But that's because it's going to fill up buffers for the first ones. First, this is only at three. Have you really not made anything yet? One more. Come on. You can do one more. There we go. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's coming in at 120. And then 60 goes in here. 60 goes on. 30 goes in. 30 goes on. 15 goes in. 15 goes on. Until this one has a full buffer. Which I hope it will be getting soon. And producing, please. It's producing. But then it produces nine wires per product. And go. We should be seeing that. Yay! First ones are coming in. And if we look at, whoops, this one, it has. And it is starting to work on the first stages. The next one's working. The next one's working. So these two are green. Very difficult to see, but. Whoa. And here we have our very first stator build. Yay! <laughs> And that will go into this box. So what are we going to do from here? Well, the reason why we built stators are, it's actually two reasons. Uh, actually, multiple reasons. 
you know, this is what I always do. I always start building something and then at the end I go like, so why did we build it? Instead of kind of doing it up front. We built the stators. The stators are an ingredient to the automated wiring. Automated wiring is one of the things we need to unlock tier five and six, but it's also an ingredient into motors. Motors, something that we need for something. Now I'm not gonna use vehicles, not much at least. I think that motors are used for vehicles. Can't really remember what it's used for. We'll find out. Uh, definitely for some later tech. And heavy modular frames. We definitely don't wanna build this one. I can't build this. Do I have a, do I even have that building unlocked? No, I don't have the manufacturer lot unlocked. So there is no way for me to make, to make the heavy modular frames except manually. So what we, but what we do want to make as well. So we want to make the status. I want to use that for the production of the, ah, what's it called? Yeah, the automatic wiring so we can get the unlock of the next tier, but Aside from this, we also want under power to make some power storage. And I want to make 10 of these. That means I need 15. Actually, I want a bit more. I want 13, 12 of those, 12 of those. Yeah, 12, because my new, my expanded core power plant that we did last time is going to produce 1300 and 40, 1350. So basically I want to have one hour's production of all my power. I think that's a good benchmark to basically say, if you run out of power, it'll kick in. Then you can, then you have one hour to get it back online. I think that's a good, that's a, that's a very reasonable way to do that. Yep. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wait a bit for this one to complete. And then we're going to uh, get some other things started. And now some time has passed and do we have quite a bit here. I've uh, actually just uh, started to fill these up immediately. So let's go back to our hub just to see. We have a few things. It's funny that it looks like it's blue back there. Uh, we also definitely need to do something better about this because I mean, just going in, it's, it's not quite ideal. We can, we can definitely improve it. So in here, I just, as soon as I had some, I started to fill it in here. Just lots and lots of good stuff. And we have now 53 of these. So yeah, it's been it's it's been a while. It's been a while. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's actually 336 out of the 500 we need of those. So that is just also chugging along nicely. And the last 500 we have put them already in here. The the easy one, the smart plating. So that means we actually are well on our way to unlock tier uh, tier five and six. Interesting how that one, um, don't really think I need that one. So the thing we want now is to make some batteries. Yay, batteries. I've already highlighted here, so I make sure that I have enough. I want to make 20 of these because I want to make 20 of these. Now, one thing that hasn't been done yet uh, for this one and is sorely needed is blue lines. Also, uh, haha. Yeah, these are really weird in, in a sense that they have one link up here, but they can have two different locations on. Does that make any sense? No. That seems middle. Yeah. So when you place it, you can just look at the... Like, does that seem right? Yeah, it does seem right. That's three. So this one can connect to two, so you can daisy chain all of these. Also make sure that the alignment is correct. You can't see that, but you can rotate them and that the, what it changes is uh, where the, loca the location of your attachment, your electricity attachment up there. That's the only change, but you can't see it when you're down there. So you kind of have to go really far away and then rotate. I don't even dare rotate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there, then go back again. So this has to be daisy chained all the way through. There. And we can then start talking about what is gonna come next because we have a number of different options. Well, we have the option of actually going unlocking tier five, six, and then start going for oil and stuff like that, which is just a whole new level of pain. Or we can, ooh, 
Uh, there were six. Or we can start making more of the things that we need. Like, for example, we don't have any of the crystal things. So this one can just go... Boop. It can actually connect to two. But it cannot connect to more. You can't see. I can't click here. So they can be daisy chained, but that's it. Actually, I just need to do that. I don't even need to put... Uh, yeah. And, okay, so, like, stuff like sulfur we could do, or stuff like, uh, what was the other thing? Crystals. The quartz chain, we could do that. We could automate some catarium. Those are basically some of the things that would make a lot of sense. Or we can start going into the absolutely horrendousness of oil. So, if you have some good ideas, and preferably also some good arguments why one is better than the other, then let me know. Oh, you can see it started to blink here. Um... Let me know in the comment section below with... Ow, 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 okay, yeah, 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 the poison plants. So that kind of leans towards Nobelisks, so we can blow those damn plants up. Um, yeah, so that could be like the sulfur chain with Nobelisks and explosives. And <laughs> why do I ask... Why do I ask the comment section on something where one of the options is something that explodes? Uh, yeah, so there's also quartz, which would give us a map. That's really nice. Uh, or the Caterium, which would... Yeah, I don't know what Caterium really would get us. I mean, we're going to need it for, like, AI limiters and high-speed connectors, that kind of thing. But, you know, later. That doesn't make any sense before we have plastic anyway. Or we can do Tier 5, 6 with plastic and oil getting started on that. Right, so let's have a look at how this works. This says that time until full is 3 hours. Basically, what happens is that it does not take the power from the burners that's nice but it takes all the constant power and basically it's this area up here between our max production there our production and our and our actual production graph the actual production graph is the orange one so the distance or the difference between is what i get what i pour in here so these can stay 100 megawatt hours i I actually think I like that they are using megawatt hours instead of joules. And the reason why I like that is because it's more intuitive. If you don't know what it is, and you can look, right, uh, there it goes like, okay, so 100 megawatt hours is 100 megawatts for one hour. Much easier to think than, okay, okay, one megawatt is one joule, and you have to calculate joules back to back to hours and yeah so this i think that this is a very conventional thing of doing it also sort of like that's at least how you would measure it in households don't measure your energy consumption in joules you measure it in megawatt well maybe not, probably kilowatt hours not megawatt hours i hope so charge rate 27 that's because there are 20 of them that it charges at a very low rate so it probably takes whatever is remaining here and divides it by how many active charges there are it's going to take a long time, but it says like in three hours it's going to be done. Uh, this thing is exactly the same as that, so I kind of don't really get why that's there. And that means when, if, when they're fully saturated and I then kill the power for whatever reason, I build something, probably oil or something, then this will kick into gear and start charging it. And if they're fully stat static, then I can get two gigawatts for one hour out of this or if i'm consuming let's say at the time i'm using 1000 megawatt uh, that, then it shouldn't yeah let's say I'm, I'm using two gigawatts of power at this point then i have one hour of battery storage right here in order for me to get the power back up and running and one hour seems to be like a good number that's uh that's enough to sort of come back here switch uh, some factories off and then figure out what the next uh, action is going to be. So that's pretty good. We have uh, we've definitely some power up and running here, or some battery power. That's why we needed the status. So I think that's a pretty uh, reasonable thing for us to do in this episode. So let me know. We uh, now I've asked you in the comment section: sulfur chain, quartz chain, or tier 5 6 that what should we do in the next episode uh, i may not necessarily follow your direction but i'd like to hear good arguments why one is more important and interesting than the other ones i'm going to leave it here so thank you very much for watching it has been my pleasure to uh, deliver a bit of casual satisfactory <coughs> satisfactory entertainment to you 
And uh, I hope to will check back in the next episode. If you have not already, consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this and all sorts of other things that uh, we have going on here. Also remember, I'm also streaming this on the Twitch. So if you want to see this live and just hang out and also do watch some of the exploration runs that we've been been out on, then uh, that's that's happening on Twitch because I'm not going to do exploration runs on a YouTube episode. It's just it doesn't really fit. I think I don't know why. I, I just don't think it fits. It's more too lengthy. It's kind of like two hours of just running around and climbing things. So anyway, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, take care and. Stay effective.